I've said it before, but music is one of my absolute favorite things. And the Zelda series is one of my absolute favorite things as well, so why not combine those two together? I listen to music constantly, and I'm always looking out for new bands to listen to, but sometimes there's nothing quite like some fantastic music from an amazing set of video games. The Zelda games have always been filled with a wide range of tracks, whether they're a brilliant, sweeping, epic song that fills you with a sense of adventure and wonder, or a melancholic, beautiful melody that fills you with a sense of dread and desperation. While there are so many amazing tracks to pick from, and this was a really hard list for me to narrow down, I've really dug through everything in the Zelda universe, and I'm ready to present to you guys my top 10 Zelda music tracks. The introductory scene in A Link to the Past, otherwise known as the Rain scene. The game opens up with the faint words of Princess Zelda as she speaks telepathically to you in your sleep. She is trapped in the dungeon of the castle and needs to be rescued. Upon waking up, Link is told by his uncle that he will be back by morning just as the music kicks in. As soon as I first heard that music pitter patter in over the sound of the rain thundering above the house, I was immediately filled with a sense of dread. This ominous feeling hangs in the air as you curiously venture out into the storm after your uncle. This track might not be the most upbeat and fun track in the Zelda universe, but it's this foreboding feel to it that really provides a lot of tension for the player and sets us up for this epic quest to save the world. It really made the beginning of A Link to the Past memorable, and I still get goosebumps to this day when I hear the track roll in. It's been in many a Zelda game, and while the setting itself has always played a pivotal role, the music for Hyrule Castle has always been an extremely memorable tune in all of its different versions. And I love all the variations we've heard of the song, whether it's the epic and grandiose version found in A Link to the Past, the quiet lower innards of the castle in Twilight Princess, or the more ominous remix found in the Minish Cap. They all have a different feel while retaining that fantastic melody us Zelda fans are so accustomed to. Majora's Mask is a very dark game. So dark that in the beginning of the game, you lose your trusted companion, Epona, get turned into a Deku scrub whose soul comes from the lifeless husk of what is theorized to be the butler's son, and you get transported to a different dimension where the moon is going to crash in three days and obliterate everything. Like I said, it's dark. And then out of that darkness, you enter Clock Town on the first day and are greeted with this brilliant, jovial tune. The song feels happy and alive, and it not only complements the hustle and bustle of the townsfolk, but the fact that this game is a real living thing as time flows all around you. As the days change, the musical theme changes to match the mood of the day whilst retaining the same melody, showing how dynamic a piece of music it is, while also capturing the dynamism of time. It's extremely catchy, and it turns out it's pretty fun to play on the guitar, too. Oracle of Seasons is one of my personal favorite Zelda games. I remember eagerly awaiting its release back in the days of the Game Boy Color, and it quickly became yet another Zelda title I just couldn't put down. Seeing as the Game Boy Color only had an 8-bit processor, it was essential for every little detail to be the best it could be, and the music was no exception. Oracle of Seasons is filled to the brim with fantastic music, but my favorite track from any of the overworld areas comes from the Tarm Ruins and the Lost Woods. The music is such a divergence from the more epic dungeon and field areas in its design. The music sways in and out as you traverse an old forest and equally ancient ruins, and as you continually use the power of the Rod of Seasons to navigate ever closer to the ancient ruins, no other track matches the amazing power of the seasons.
It's iconic to almost any gamer whether they've played Zelda or not, and was one of the defining songs of the two brilliant Zelda titles we got on the N64, The Song of Storms. What more can I say about this particular song that hasn't been said already? It's beautiful, catchy, and it made a windmill do this. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Even more than the track played during your travels on the ocean, nothing ever yelled ADVENTURE quite like the music for Dragon Roost Island. This is one of those tracks that swoops in and lifts you up, just when you weren't ready enough to dive right in and kick evil in the face after hearing the amazing ocean theme, this track shows up. And the feels and goosebumps I get when I hear this track is almost unparalleled. In fact, I think I might just unfurl myself sometime soon and enjoy some Wind Waker. I've talked about this particular track before, but I can't say enough just how much this track means to me. The sound of Epona's hooves pounding the trail right as the piano comes in, the melancholic and beautiful ocarina melody that is also accompanied by this tint of hope. It's one of the greatest title themes of all time, and for me personally, there really isn't much else quite like it. This is one of those songs that makes me wish I could play the piano. This song is so beautiful and melancholic, and it arrives just at the time where things look like they are about to fall apart. Minna is nearly struck down and is on the verge of death, and even though you've been brought back into your wolf form, you don't have a choice but to try and find some help to save her. Even though she's an essential character to the story and the gameplay, and the odds of a main character being killed off in a Nintendo game are pretty slim to none, I couldn't help but feel like you might actually lose her and so much of that is down to the music. I can clearly remember charging along, desperately hoping I could save her in time, and it's the music that so perfectly brings you right into that moment. No other game in the entire Zelda series reaches the same heights of adventure as the Wind Waker. And it's the title theme that really sparks that initial call to sail the seas. Being introduced to the game with this song, with the sound of ocean waves crashing against the shore as the camera shows us the sights of Outset Island, is again one of the most brilliant title themes in any game to date. And the fact that a friend of mine used to regularly play this tune, even though he wasn't a huge Zelda fan, speaks volumes on just how magical it is. As children, when our imaginations ran rampant, many of us longed to go on magical adventures, and this theme perfectly and encapsulates that sense of adventure. Not only that, but it sets up the game perfectly and absolutely nails the atmosphere that is delivered to us over the course of our journey. In a game that is filled with songs that convey beauty in an almost tortured sense, the music that graces your ears in the Astral Observatory provides a similar level of beauty, except this song is filled with an aura of mystery that ties in perfectly with just how mysterious and strange the world of Termina truly is. In a series full of unbelievable songs, both grand and epic, beautiful and mellow, melancholic and whimsical, no other song has ever wrapped all of those characteristics into one ball of awesomeness quite like this one, and to this day it remains my favorite Zelda track of all time.
As I've said, the Zelda series is absolutely stuffed full of amazing tracks. I could talk for hours about every single one and really explain why they're so great, but at the end of the day, I can only go with 10, and so the rest will just remain to be talked about some other time. The Zelda series means so much to me, so to get to finally sit here and share some of my heartfelt thoughts on some of the amazing music from these games is wonderful, but I'd like to know what your top 5 Zelda tracks are. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you would have picked for this list. I'd love to see some of the other tracks I missed out on get a chance to shine. I'm Wally the Legend, and I shall see you later. Damn it, Victor. Thank you.